what you gonna do now? It's your reflection looking back to pull you down. So what are you gonna do? Well, here we go. Big flash to start this one off. UTS, Tarakon, they find the fight. The Terracon Cosmic Radiance comes down. Galio off gonna knock up two members, and Hyper comes in for the flank. Sona Rolti immediately onto the whole robot. This is the backline being demolished for the Dire Cubs. Quicko isn't even at the fight, and Cadence is dishing out so much damage onto these carries. That's the hole. The Fiora and the Akali Fuzzy Zola actually TPs to the inhibitor. They're trying to cancel the They may just be here. looking for the end. Frolic cancels one recall, two go down in the pit, as the Akali and the Fiora are just trying to take down the Nexus turrets, but Corporal. Nothing he can do, he's gonna fall down and everybody just backs away. I like what Cadence did, condense the uh, Tarek, starts getting some damage. You need, Tarek holds up to three members, Get Back is dishing out so much damage, Corporal flashes, cannot find the engage, it does cost him his life in the back lane though, Akali and Andrew the Fiora so are low. doing so much work, Cadence is free hitting here. Oh, Cadence, Andrew may just be able to turn this one out, stopwatch is time there from Cadence to stop some of that damage, but there's so many golden members. Taunt is going to land Fuzzy Zola once again onto the backside, and the Tarek and the Sona are keeping the entire cup pack oh. alive. Three level two, no oh, flashes come out, and uh, oh, that black shield. Yeah, they go onto the edge. Well, he does have TP, so that's a kill. That's 300 gold. Poke is just going to TP back to lane. Well, maybe they'll look at it, but here comes yeah. the Silas TP. Here it comes. Bit of a flank. That's a lot of damage on the Cadence. QSS buys him some time, as does the ulti. Alani actually goes for the back line, but he gets in, absolutely he's nothing shot. done. The uh, Eve falls down. Nautilus getting incredibly low. He's chased out. Hyper's on his way. Nice change he has there, the flank. But... Lent, I believe it's Harriet was Cadence. He might get there. Len actually going in quite aggressive, trying to run down Faulkner, but Style is there to push him back. UTS is a bit of trouble. Venom Prison connecting on Faulkner. Cataclysm onto four members as the teleport's coming through. Too little, too late for Faulkner as he goes down for Cadence. Trying to group as well. And here, here comes the Cataclysm Peaking connect game. with three. Fuzzy Ola and Lent caught inside, but here comes the heroic entrance. Only connect with Tekkar, who doesn't mind. Cataclysm, Cataclysm connecting with three. Oh, and down goes nice Styles. This could be the opportunity for UTS as Faulkner will be the next to fall. In fact, the ABA is just getting run over. Tekkar has to try and bust away, but he will go down. And that is a no, he actually stays alive. The depth charge are connecting as well. As Zip is like a style trying to get there, but he's unable to get the cadence. Front lights combined as Faulkner has to go going in the middle of everything. Zip up going in. So deep is still unable to bring down Cadence, who's just wailing away. They take down Faulkner, and now a man down ABA is going to try and run away. Fuzzy Cola on the flanks is able to take down it? that Kaiser. Oh, they deal with the most of this wave. Frolic's actually going in, though. Frolic gets the charm, it's gonna be 3v1. They need a little bit more damage, the shutdown comes across. Yeah, exactly where Uni is, and the collapse from multiple sides is here. Again, Uni, he's forced to flash over the wall. Cadence has so much mobility, pops the shroud, oh. gets the kill. Wait, matchup. That's a nice knockup though from Frolic. They go straight onto High Goodbye, forcing out that flash very, very early. Unspecializes, using the ultimate, trying to back him off. Now actually commits into the back line, onto Frolic. The rest of the members are trying to collapse onto him. But Yele is the one who then gets turned upon and taken down. Teleport coming across from Midas. Vicaria. Vicaria goes in it, forced to use the Hourglass. The rest of the members of UTS manage to trade here. Holding that one for UTS will buy them kind of a lot of respite in what has been a fairly rough early game. This is the game. Though. Yele and Frolic going straight on to Ezreal right there, who's got three members surrounding him. Fang gets taken out very, very easily. Yeah, Next is down. They don't even mind. They're going to dive completely into there. Midas has to use the Hourglass. It doesn't even matter. Frolic's first. Two fall, rest of the members trying to buy enough time. Peekaboo, he actually gets a great stun! The shutdown comes across, and the members of UTS, they're holding on right here! They have one more member, Fane is trying to his best to get on out. But Kimchi keeps him alive, Riot has rejoined the fight, Yaley is super low as well, Riot's gonna try and find his way there. Kane is though, turning it around on the Farmer, here comes the TP out of Midas as well as, oh, poor, poor, Riot is in too deep. Farmer low as well, a follow up flash from Midas gets that kill, he's going under the tower. The play kind of holds him in place. With bindings there, but you have Lance in behind. Riot though, already so low, looking to still try and front line if they get the kill on Frolic. Midas has teleported on the backside, Peekaboo as well, there gets two with the pop blossom. It's Kimchi uses the stopwatch to buy some time. Farmer in that back line trying to get some autos down onto Midas, but can't do much as Midas is able to rush down Lanson. Health bar is low, Lanson falls down. Farmer stays alive too long. He will die. Oh. Riot as well trying to get that re-engage. Falls as well. Four kills for UTS. And UTS. Yeah.